<clears throat> in the last lesson, uh, we looked at views and the composition of views hierarchically um, so that we could uh, operate them operate on them um, as uh, as cohesive units uh, rather than having to deal with uh, each of them uh, individually. Uh, the next thing that I want to show is uh, with views uh, how the different uh, properties work, especially with uh, with size and layout. We've already seen uh, the use of uh, views uh, and um, some properties. I, I did things like set vertical layouts and horizontal layouts and whatnot, but I want to talk a little more about uh, how all of that works. So um, we're going to start with, um, first of all, looking at size and uh, how sizes work uh, within, uh, within titanium. Uh, I was using percentages for width and height and top, and, and I want to uh, use uh, more absolute terms for some of that. And partially uh, because of the following effect. Um, so let's say I have um, something like uh, what I've drawn here on the screen. Uh, it kind of looks like a flag. Um, and let's say that uh, I wanted to rotate uh, this, uh, this screen. You'll see that uh, the ratios uh, kind of change because of the way that I've defined the heights. I've defined the height and width in terms of percentages. And so um, you'll see here that things are kind of getting stretched. And so I, I want to uh, change this so that uh, I have uh, instead everything defined in terms of absolute uh, widths rather than uh, and heights rather than uh, percentages. So uh, the way to do that uh, is simply to just change the um, the percentage signs uh, to uh, either no percentage or I can use px for for pixels uh, within titanium uh, for the uh, uh, for the iPhone. Um, the pixels go by, uh, it's roughly 320 by, I think it's 480 uh, as far as the uh, number of pixels available, uh, width and height. Um, but uh, for retina uh, displays, that's obviously, it's obviously, well, it's not necessarily obviously, but for a retina display, you have actually double that available to you. Um, but it still uh, still operates on that that base 320 by 480. So um, let's. Uh, so what I want to do is define this uh, uh, this object, this view that I have in terms of that absolute uh, those absolute widths. And so I'm going to change this 100 percent to 320. Actually, let's make it two pixels shorter than that, um, so that I see a white border around um, the edges for the um, for this uh, this main view. And then let's change the height to, um, let's say, uh, 160. Um, and, then, um, and then see what happens with, uh, uh, with my red box, uh, my red rectangle. OK, so here is the red rectangle. And now if I rotate the phone, um, I still roughly have the same, uh, same height and width for the, uh, um, for the red view. Um, I want to do the same thing with uh, the view contained within it. Um, define it in terms of absolute uh, width and height. So um, let's go with uh, let's see the the width of uh, this is is uh, let's see roughly forty percent of uh, three hundred and twenty. Um, so that is roughly what um, 120, and then uh, with the height, uh, I want 40 percent of 160. Uh, so roughly, that's going to be 64. Um, and let's use this then for my heights. Uh, I, my math is off a little bit, so you see that. The the height did change, or the width did change a little bit. Uh, but uh, now, when um, I display this, actually, one more, th uh, yeah, that's, yeah. So, uh, so one more thing that we're going to see here now, if I rotate this, uh, this phone, um, that uh, uh, that flag should still be roughly the same, same width and height uh, as it was before. Actually, it should be 
uh, exactly that. Um, so anyway, the uh, uh, these pixel uh, values um, essentially, uh, if you use percentages, then it's going to be relative to the width and the height of the screen. Uh, if you use these absolute values, it's going to be um, well absolute values. Okay, uh, another thing I wanted to do is show what happens with uh, the layout. Um, so we've been using, uh, I used a, a horizontal layout for the, uh, uh, this main view. And when you use the horizontal layout, then what happens is uh, views or other objects that are contained within the main uh, view uh, will be placed uh, uh, left to right and then uh, top to bottom. So if I added another view, which, let me do that. I'm just going to create another view called view01. I'm going to give it the same dimensions as before. I'm going to add it to the view. And what we should see here then is um, uh, another view that would be placed uh, 10 pixels just to the right of the, uh, the first box. So there it is. Now if I, add, if I do another one, let's create uh, view02. What I'll get is uh, the, the other view placed uh, below it, so left to right, top to bottom. Let's see that? So there it is. Okay. Um, looks like oh, the simulator just crashed. But anyway, so that's the uh, uh, that's the way that uh, uh, the views work uh, with uh, the heights and and the widths and whatnot, and the uh, uh, the composition um, based on um, based on using this different uh, layout algorithm instead of using vertical, it uses uh, horizontal. Actually, let me bring the simulator back up. Um, uh, let's see. This may or may not have what I wanted. Anyway, so uh, I'll leave it at that, um, and uh, we'll move on to the next lesson.